One, two. Hey, Mr. Smiley Face, breezing in the town. Shiny, happy people seem to follow you around. Kiss a couple babies, slap a couple backs. Man, that ain't how it plays on this side of the tracks. Nobody gives a damn about your fancy clothes. We're here today with Jen Wall, the winemaker for Barefoot Wine in Bubbly. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for joining us today. I really, uh, this is a beautiful setup you have here. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Well, this is a great time of year to start talking about champagne. And Barefoot Wine and Bubbly offers five distinct uh, champagnes, which we call Barefoot Bubblies. And we offer these alongside our still wines, which we're most famous for, the California still wines. Yes. And uh, each one of these is distinct in its style, flavors, aromas, and the level of sugar uh, going from driest to sweetest. So we have our Barefoot Brut Cuvée, which is our driest offering. It has 1.3% residual sugar, and it's the most traditional out of all of the bubblies that we offer um, in that it's uh, like a traditional champagne. Mm -hmm. Then we have our Barefoot Bubbly Pinot Grigio, which is really exciting because this is the only sparkling Pinot Grigio made from California grapes. I was going to say that's something completely new, unique, and different. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. And it has wonderful Pinot Grigio flavors and aromas. And someone who's a Pinot Grigio fan, when they taste this, they'll they'll be able to recognize that immediately. So it's a wonderful, wonderful product. Then we have our um, Barefoot Bubbly Chardonnay. And as you know, Chardonnay is one of the traditional grapes made uh, uh, from... Uh, uh, made into champagne from France. Exactly. And then we have our Barefoot Bubbly Extra Dry. And the extra dry uh, terminology is actually counterintuitive. Yes. Um, it is a slightly sweet. So right. um, it's a little confusing to the consumer sometimes, but it's definitely the crowd pleaser out of the bunch. If you have to pick one, this is a good way to go because the, the sweet, sweet seekers like it, as well as the, the people who prefer drier champagne. And is it also made predominantly from Chardonnay grapes? It is. It is. And then we have um, the Barefoot Bubbly White Zinfandel, which is wonderful. Uh, the sweet seekers love this, but it's not only for them. It's actually great with really spicy foods as well. So it has a lot of wa watermelon, a lot of strawberry, a little bit of Georgia peach, really well balanced, and it just has that nice sweet finish. So it's just, it's just lovely. Very nice. Yeah, they're, they're all really wonderful. And you'll notice that the packaging um, is really distinct. We have the packaging for the Brut and the Extra Dry is similar, and we call this the Cuvée collection, and these are the more traditional packages. Yes. Um, designed more for weddings and special occasions like New Year's Eve toasts and holiday toasts. Right. And then we have our varietal uh, line of champagne. So we have Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, and White Zinfandel. And these follow suit um, in the styling um, of our still wines in that we want them to be varietally correct. So we're trying to have the Pinot Grigio in the, in the bottle taste like the Pinot Grigio as it hangs in the vineyard and the Chardonnay and the White Zinfandel as well. So Very nice. Now, these are new packages for these. Uh... They are. We, we just uh, got these into the bottle in the last couple of months, and, and they're, they're lovely. And with, with the varietals, what's nice about it is the consumer can say, okay, I like Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. and I like champagne, I'm going to like a Chardonnay champagne. And with the fun, um, fun packaging, the colorful packaging, and all of the wines being under $10 a bottle, we want people to consider sparkling wines as an alternative to their everyday beverage uh, versus still wines. And, right. and this kind of uh, makes it a little bit less intimidating. So we like that a lot. Yeah, they're very accessible, just in the packaging, they're very attractive, accessible. It looks like something that uh, a person would like to try, because for, you know, this is such a unique idea of Pinot Grigio. Yeah, definitely. Or Chardonnay. It's, it's something that's new to the industry, and we hope that will uh, increase the interest of people who are drinking champagne. So like I said, all of these wines are under um, $10, and they're, they all taste great alone, but they taste great as bubbly cocktails as well. So um, we encourage people to blend bubbly and make them fun, and not only do they taste good when we make bubbly cocktails but it's a great way to save money when you're entertaining entertaining can be expensive and in these times everybody's trying to uh, figure out a way to save a little bit of money so rather than buying all your alcohol for your bar and having a fully stocked bar for your party sometimes it's fun to make a signature drink so we have three different drinks that we're going to make here. oh this is fun yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so I'm going to actually let you taste our uh, Pinot Grigio champagne first there you go 
And while you drink that, I'm going to make a, what we call a pomegrigio. And the pomegrigio... Mm, delicious. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's very nice. So uh, the pomegrigio is a blend of um, pinot grigio, pomegranate juice, and a little bit of pomegranate seeds. And it's our uh, signature drink for the, for the Barefoot team because we're the only ones that, we're the only brand that offers a sparkling Pinot Grigio from California. So it's, it's very, very special. It's really fun. It's really easy. And everybody loves it. It's just an absolute crowd pleaser. And it's definitely the right color for holiday entertaining. I'm gonna let you try that. Right. And, um, and, and people like to, to make it themselves, adjust the, the amount of juice to, to make that perfect drink for them. So it's very a lot of nice. fun. Very Isn't that nice? Very so nice. you can feel special about offering that to someone yeah. at a holiday party. Wow, it's very pretty too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the next drink we're gonna make is what we call a poinsettia. And here we're using the Chardonnay Champagne. The Chardonnay Champagne is slightly sweeter than the Pinot Grigio. So we're gonna, it's similar to the Pinot Grigio in that we're gonna use some uh, pomegranate juice as well. But we're also gonna use a little bit of orange liqueur. And that just gives it a little bit of uh, distinction and difference between the Pinot Grigio. We're going to use these seeds again. And what's nice about it when you are entertaining is you can make your first drink for your, uh, for your guests. And then you can show them the, uh, the table and let them uh, blend up their concoctions after you've made them that first drink. It's always polite to make them the first drink. But afterwards, they can make it themselves so they can go back to the bar as many times as they like. It's a little mint leaf. Okay. And, uh, and then they know how to do it for their, their holiday um, occasions. So there we go. I'll let you taste oh, that. that's nice. Mmm, very good. Isn't that very great? Good, that's great. Good. And then um, before I uh, make you our last one, which is the candy cane cocktail, <laughs> um, I'm going to let you try this Barefoot Bubbly Brew, which is my favorite. It's what I always have at home. And I always encourage uh, blending cocktails with the brew because um, it is dry. So when you're adding any sort of juice to it, it doesn't make it too sweet. Very which is nice. Really, isn't that nice? Yes. You can see the classic uh, t uh, nature of that. And actually, I'll uh, use this yes. glass right here and I'll put a little bit more in here and add um, uh, just a, a touch of peppermint uh, liqueur as well. And not as much color as the other two, but really fun and festive. And you just hang one of these little guys here on the edge. And again, you have a nice signature drink for your, for your holiday party. Wow, it looks so good. Whoa, lots of candy cane. Yeah, isn't that fun? <laughs> oh my, my, my. Very good, yeah. very delicious. So now, are these, are the are recipes on your website? Yes, they are. They're easy to find, and uh, as are the champagnes. The champagnes are available nationally, so you can find these at any of your local retailers. That's great. And um, are there other recipes for other uh other uh, blends or yes we have a whole catalog of uh, bubbly recipes and they can be found at barefootwine.com thank you so much thank jen you. wall winemaker for barefoot wine and bubbly Thanks.